What is going on guys, my name's Alone, and welcome to another Zero to Hero episode, and I actually have a Black Dragon task of 12, and we're going to do King Black Dragon for the first time with this task, and um, if you look at my inventory, this is what I'm going to bring, and uh, well, it is in the wilderness, so I have to go there with the gear I have equipped now, but it's not too much of a risk. Here we go, last KBD is about to die, and that is a total KC now of 12 on KBD, I do believe, I don't think I've killed it before, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's see the loot, 12 kills, 186k, yeah, yeah, killing Brutals is actually more profit. Holy shit, that is a drop from uh, Abyssal Demons, that means I don't have to get the head from uh, the Sire, which is really nice, if I get the unlock for the Slayer Helmet, I can actually unlock the red looking one, which is actually really good looking. Absolutely massive level coming through, 93 Slayer, that means I can now kill the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, which we're going to kill in this video, hopefully. Managed to get another Kree Aura task of 35, so let's see if we can get another armor piece. So I've now learned with the comments you guys lent on the other Kree Aura video that I did, how to do this properly, where you only throw the Chinchampas on the minion, and well, it is definitely better. I can do 7-8 kill trips, which is really nice, but no loot this time. Pretty insane cave horror task, not gonna lie. Two black masks in 157 kills, 2 million profit. An even more insane task, it's not a lot of profit, but look at this, 5 Granite Mauls in 67 kills, what? If this was worth a lot, that would be just nuts. That's a hefty amount of Smoke Devils, 162, perfect for my first task at the boss, so let's go and do it. By the way, remember to uh, leave a like if you enjoy the content. And uh, here is the boss, by the way. This is uh, just below Castle Wars, and you can use a dual ring if you want to teleport here real quick. Or a, I think it's BKP for the fairy rings and you enter the smoke lair here and you go all the way to the top left where you can see the dungeon sign enter there and there's the boss. So let's have a look at this now. So this is going to be my first kill at the boss and you want to use a super combat potion or a divine super combat potion to keep your stats up at all times. You don't uh, use any Saradomi Bruce here really so a uh, divine potion is perfect. I'm using a DDS for special weapon and uh, the boss's attacks are like the Kraken boss, it is not categorized, so you can't actually uh, use magic prayer, even though they are technically magic hits, which is why you're using the Carol's gear for the magic defense, and then along with that, some melee uh, damage bonus gear, like the primordial boots and all that. But um, the first kill, well, very easy. So instead of praying magic, what you want to do is you want to have your uh, NPC attack option on always right click to make it easier. And what you want to do is you want to walk under the boss between every single hit. So you can see I hit it once and then I walk under it. Now I failed because it got two hits in. There you go. Attack once and go under it again because that will make it so you trade one for one attack on the boss all the time. The boss can only max it eight. So it's really, really small hits, but it attacks super fast. And it's very accurate as well, you can see it hit me 8 twice in a row there, but if you have the Carol's gear on and you do this, you should probably take like, depending on your hits, I would say 20 to 40 damage per kill. Sometimes you can be really unlucky if you hit zeros a lot of the time, but you probably use like 1 to 2 sharks per kill, which is not too bad, and I am failing sometimes so it gets 2 hits in, but um, yeah, it makes it way easier if you have the... Uh, NPC attack right click always option on so you can just click under it right click on it meanwhile you're running under it and then attack again and repeat this the entire kill. First trip ended up on 10 KC so I can do about 10 kills every single trip it seems. So as I don't have a pool in my house I'm just going to use a dual ring instead and uh, just run here after. Oh my god I didn't know this you can actually right click on the cave here and we can remove the smoke so it gets way clearer in here this is so much nicer. Okay so I actually had a really good trip of 18 kills in a one trip and I'm actually going to show you guys how much this is worth so let's put all the items in and I actually got a drop of two snapdragon seeds which is of course very good it's 150k almost but 18 kills 343k. Oh, am I lucky or what? That's a 1 in 512 drop. It's actually the most valuable drop you can get from the boss at 78 KC. That is, I think, 2 mil, so it's not a massive amount, but it's very nice. It has been a very fun task, actually. I really like this boss, and this is going to be the last kill that I do. It is for sure one of the Slayer bosses I want to get the pet for in the future, so probably every single time I get a Smoke Devil task, I will do the boss all the way until I get the pet. It's the same with the Kraken, really, which is... I'm almost 900 KC on Kraken, so... 
I hopefully will get the Kraken pet and the Thermonuclear pet before 99 Slayer. Because that boss was very easy, I'm going to do this boss task as well of Sarachnis. I'm going to pick 35. I've actually done this boss before in the Twisted League, but never in the main game, so will be quite different. I need a really good crush weapon, so I'm actually going to sell my Armadillo chestplate because it is at a very high value right now, 38.7 mil. And I will be buying the Bludgeon, which has stabilized in price quite a lot now. It's actually dropping because people are not killing the Nightmare as much, so 26 more for that. So that is going to be very helpful for Sarachnes. The Bludgeon is insanely good at this boss. I can just imagine how good the Scythe would be, but uh, this is my inventory, by the way, that I'm bringing. I probably don't need to bring two combat potions, but uh, yeah, that is one KC for some Cosmics. So I'm just going to go through a kill here, and uh, in the beginning you want to pray melee, because it will be in the melee range. When you get rooted like this, you just pray ranged until you get to the boss again and you pray melee, because when you're in melee range of the boss, it will keep meleeing you, and when you're rooted or too far away like this, it will start doing ranged. So that's pretty much all you have to do. And then after a while, these two minions will spawn. And one of them is blue and that is a major. And then there is the yellow one, which is the melee one. And I, because I'm using a carrot's top and a thorax legs, I have a decent both magic and melee defense or range defense. So I'm pretty tanky and most of the time I don't kill them at all. I, all I do is just let them hit me and yeah sure they can hit me like a 13 there, you could see a 7. But I can just kill the boss so fast and they die after when the boss dies so I don't actually have to care about the minions much so it's very easy. I did not know that Sarachnis can drop nothing. I know that some Slayer bosses like Kraken can but that is a nothing drop from uh, Sarachnis. <laughs> I would say that in the future when I get more Sarachnis tasks, I'm probably going to do 35 every single time because it was very easy and every single kill is 430 Slayer experience, which is not bad at all. So I would say pretty successful and I got almost 1 million from that task. So the money is not terrible either actually. So I'm actually on the hardcore grind for 95 Slayer for the Alchemical Hydra, but can you believe I did not have this unlocked? Yeah, it is nuts. Like I don't know why I haven't done this quest, but now I can use a cannon. And on top of that, I have a lot of this granite dust, and I'm going to make 7,000 granite cannonballs. So the normal cannonballs, I do believe, hit a maximum hit of 30. Meanwhile, the granite ones can max it 35, so they are a bit better. So two things in this clip, I'm about to get my 450 tasks completed for a lot of points, there you go. And the second thing is, I'm only 166,000 experience of 99 hit points, so I really want to get that in this video. Something I haven't done yet is turn 10 Kraken Tentacles into Leave My Kraken, so I can actually hold, instead of 2,500 charges into my trident, up to 20,000. It makes it way more convenient so that I don't have to go to the bank all the time between every single Kraken task and recharge my trident. So now if I turn this trident into her, she will make it enchanted. So now I can hold up to 20,000 charges instead of 2,500 and I had enough for 6,000 now, so that's going to make it way more convenient for my Kraken tasks. Okay, so there we go, that's finally 99 hit points. I almost actually got 94 Slayer on that grind as well, so let's go and get my first skill cape. Okay, so let's talk to Surgeon here and get the cape. Hopefully I know what to pick. There we go, and I have uh, the money to buy it as well. So I'm just going to buy one cape, I don't need more than that, so here we go, that's the first skill cape on the account, first 99, and the effect of the cape is actually to double your health regen, so it can be pretty useful at places like the Winter Toad and all like that, and it looks pretty good as well. So what you're looking at right now is a spreadsheet of all the bosses I want to include in this uh, type of series and what bosses I already have kills of and that I learned. So for example, Soldra I have 7 kills of and I've already learned it, so it's not going to be included in this series. But you can track and I will update the boss kills on every single time I do a video like this. So for example, now you can see that I have... 849 cracking kills and I will update that every single time in the end of the video in these slides So you can see the bosses that have a red X on them I still want to include in this series and the ones that have a green tick sign I've already killed and learned and won't include in this series that's going to do it for this video, I hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, please remember to subscribe to know when I post more of these videos, and also leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.